Invention idea taken. Dun dun dun. Okay. I may not have time for a bold bite again. I did I didn't actually prep one, so I like the questions. These are good. <clears throat> I know someone who has an invention idea that is very good. Although I don't think he's patented it. Oh, the idea is very good. Um, not not the person. And it is just sitting on it. I think he's drawn designs up and files on a USB stick, but heard it's not patented. I hate to see his green mentions sit and collect dust. And I know it's not the nicest thing to do, but <laughs> it is not the nicest thing to do. I, think that's a real, I love real, that. I know it's a nice thing to do. Would it be illegal through IP laws, copyright laws, to take the invention and bring it to like myself? Oh my gosh. The backstabber. Yep. Total backstabber. Dude. Well, can you really call it call him a friend? I guess he didn't say friend, someone. Okay. So there's a fundamental issue here. You're not the inventor. Ta da. <laughs> yeah, actually, 10 turns out you have to be the inventor to mm -hmm. not defraud the patent office when you're filing an invention. They do make you sign an oath saying you are the inventor. Therefore, it's unacceptable. And so you'd be defrauding. Either way, if you filed this and signed it as if you had invented it, shame on you. You're, you're a fraud. Can't allow that. Don't do it. There's even a method for this individual, should they see it come to light, whether through a publication or eventually come to grant, through a new derivation proceeding, they could say, no, you derived it from me. And I elected not to get a patent on it for whatever reason, but I can prove that you got this from me and it's mine now. Thank you for getting the patent. Um, so don't do it for, for double reasons. It's a bad one. 